How's it going, everybody, and welcome to the Thursday Bible study. There's two more days of Revelation, and we'll start our 13th study of Daniel, good Lord willing. Moreover, but here we are in Matthew 18, moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he, sh if he shall hear you, gain a brother. But if he doesn't, take it the two or more that are in the church, let it be witnesses, let them establish it. If he doesn't want to hear them, tell it to the entire church. But if he neglects the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and basically a publican. Okay, in other words, men of the earth, non-sheep, non-members of the church. Really, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they uh, shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, in Christ, in the Holy Spirit, there I am in the midst of them, what, spiritually? Holy Spirit's in that person, Holy Spirit's in the other person, Holy Spirit's in the other person. And Jesus is there. He's the Holy Spirit. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till what? Seven times? Jesus said, uh, uh, 77 times. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one brought unto him which owed him 10,000 talents. So we'll get to the rest of that story tomorrow. I think we all know where that's going, if, unless you're very new to the Bible. And if you are, I'm glad you're here. For without, anyway, uh, Revelation 22, 15 through 17, we're just doing three verses. I only know that got very small columns to do until we close it out. My columns match the New Testament columns so I can keep track of all this. It's... uh. That way, when I open the book, I know what I'm looking at. And I'm able to keep track of the columns. So Friday's study is the last of Revelation. Wow. That would be fascinating if uh, he goes down on the Ides of March, which opens the book of Revelation for us to live in in real time. Going down today, rising on John 3.16. Spiritually, of course, doesn't really rise. It's a body double trick, the right eye wound, but uh be pretty fascinating. Uh, hang on just a second. So again, this is about goats. For without our dogs, sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever maketh, loveth, and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you, John, these things uh, in the churches. It's church divided by seven about to go through the great tribulation. But he also wrote literal letters. Two seven churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, come. Let him that heareth say, come. And he that is a thirst, come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. That's speaking to the sheep. Glad you're here. I love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.